Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today we're going to do a very simple, basic modeling tutorial on how to create gold rings. So let's get going. We're going to start off with a simple ground plane. I'm going to drag that out in the grid, something like that. I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Right click on that, go down to assign new material. I'm going to go with a Fong E in this case, and I'm going to change the color to black in my attribute editor. So click on the color tab and black. All right. Now I'm going to start with my uh, basic uh, shape for my ring. So for that, I'm going to uh, select a polygon pipe like that. Pull that out, pull that up a little bit. Now we're going to go to our attribute editor. So in the uh, poly pipe section, I'm going to increase the subdivision to 60 to make it nice and round. We're going to do six subdivisions in the height and the caps. I'm going to leave that the way it is. Okay. All right. So now we've got that done. Now we're going to switch views. We're going to go to our front view. I'm going to hit F to zoom in a little. All right, and we're going to uh, right click and go to vertex and we're going to drag select everything except the top and bottom row and we're going to hit R to scale that and we're going to pull that out a little. We're going to drag select these, pull that out a little. And we're going to drag, select the one in the middle, and pull that out a little. Okay, something like that. Let's see what that looks like so far. Okay, so let's see what else. Okay, um, 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 uh, we're going to take the edge here. So right click on that, go to edge, click on that one, shift double click on that one so we've got the top edge and we'll do the same here we're going to go to edit mesh and hit bevel and we'll just look at it from the top here okay just get a good view of that and I'm going to play with the uh, bevel settings a bit uh, I'm going to increase the number of segments something like that and, you know, it's just all about trying to find something that looks okay for you. Now, we need to get these outer uh, edges as well. So, just like that. Shift, double click that. I'm just going to move this ground plane down for a second. It's getting in our way. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's repeat that. So, we're going to take this edge here. Right click edge. Got that. Shift and double click that. Edit mesh and bevel. Increase the number of segments to round that somewhat. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. And we're going to select our object. Shift, right click, and go down to smooth. Like that. All right. I'm going to get my uh, ground plane back up again pull that up let's check our side view to make sure that we're okay there and that looks okay and we're going to copy our ring so hit control D pull that up pull that out we're gonna hit E to rotate that a bit and we're trying to have the one ring leading on the other one. That, that looks about okay. That should be about right. Okay. We're going to get some quick lights in here. So create the lights, point light. I'm going to pull that up. Hit Control D to duplicate that. 
And let's check from the top view to see where my lights are at. Okay, I want that over here. I want there. And from this view, my lights are... Okay, I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And I'm going to pull that one to about here. I'm going to shift select both lights and select use depth map shadows. Okay. Now let's apply some material to these rings. Right click on that. Assign new material. Go to MIA Material X. We're going to select our material tab in the attribute editor. Go to presets. We're going to go to copper. And instead of hitting replace, we're going to blend 50%. Uh, let's see, that's, we're going to tweak that a little bit. Uh, I'm not too happy with that. I can do a trial render. Let's see if that's okay. Just uh, increase the size of my floor here. And we'll give this a try in the render. Go to our render settings. I'm going to select Mental Ray. Actually, I have to because I used Mental Ray material. In my Quality tab, I'm going to increase that to about 1.25. And in my Common tab, I'm going to increase the size to HD 1080, like that. And let's give the render a try and see how it looks. And I'll just uh, hit pause so you guys don't have to wait for that. Unless it's really fast. Well, I'll just pause it. Be back in a sec. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I just um, uh, shut down the render because I wasn't too pleased with the blend that I selected. So we're just going to try that again. So I'm going to uh, select both of my rings here. Right click, assign new material. We're going to go with the same material go into the material tab presets and with this lighting we should be okay by just um, selecting this without a blend um, because I think that will give a better result so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna leave my uh, my render settings as they were and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a new render and I'll be back in a sec Hey guys, well this uh, render result looks much better. Uh, I think this is a fairly realistic uh, uh, look uh, if you want to create some gold rings. Uh, we're better than with the, the blend setting. So this is a simple way that you can do that and uh, I would say give it a go. Uh, hope you thought it was helpful and if you've got any questions let me know. Thank you for watching.